Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today is November 9th. These are materials that I'm going to be building a cold frame with. I'll have a video on that coming out soon. And it's really time, especially Maryland Zone 7 or zones where you get freezing winters, is to really start putting your beds to rest. I've cleaned out most of my warm season crops. I've left in some peppers. I'm going to collect the seeds for those. But really what's left are beans that are drying. I'm going to harvest the seeds and my cool weather crops. But you can see that I've cleaned the garden out. It's been a great first year. Thank you so much for being part of it. I really enjoy giving tours and teaching. This was uh, filled with all kinds of different plants, tomato plants, peppers, squash, zucchini. Next year, this is going to be a theme, uh, theme garden. So I'm gonna do like a salsa garden here, um, some different types of gardens in these containers so people can have an idea. If they want a small garden, they can kind of pick a theme and grow the vegetables that they like. You do a salsa garden, um, you could do something more for herbs, leafy greens, um, all kinds of different things. Here is where I had my tomato hedge. Next year I'm going to cut that back greatly. I just didn't need all those tomatoes. And I'm, I may be uh, planting squash and zucchini and different plants along here. And I'm kind of envisioning my plan next year to really organize all of this. I was really excited just to get it built get things planted, see what I could grow. They're going to just have basically stations really. We'll have the tomatoes in one area. Um, on this side I'm going to have most of my beans. You can see that I've moved a lot of the trellising poles that were up there on the right side. The shelving units that had cucumbers on it are going to go along here. There'll be beans. I think I'm going to do squash and zucchini in here. Tomatoes will go in here. I'm going to create uh, actually cages that go over where I may have some leafy greens so I don't have to use any dust or any chemicals. I'm going to put in some wire mesh that will keep butterflies out. I just don't feel like having to spray and dust as much as I did last year. But you can just see I'm in total transition and I'm just planning. I kind of stand in the garden like this and I've taken all the trellising materials that were over here and I'm bringing it over here and that's because my son tracks this way and you know my excitement to get things done I put a little uh, I put too many trellises over here and they were casting shade over so the shade is going to cast over this way and this will be more open for sun tomatoes will probably go along these boxes along here peppers are going to stay there I'm going to be planting uh, potatoes along the fence line there are some containers but I'm going to do something more formal as we come up here, um, you can see that I've mulched everything out. This used to be grass. I didn't mind it, except taking care of two acres, wherever I can save time, I'm going to save time, and putting down mulch makes a difference. Going to be doing a video on building a raised bed. This is a true raised bed. These are 12 inch boards. These are eight feet long, 12 inches high, and I'm going to make two foot by six foot raised beds. They're going to get dropped right in here, and that's going to be for root crops like carrots. The soil here is kind of heavy, lots of clay, and rather than really try and loosen everything, I'm going to bring in some nice loose soil, make the soil for these boxes, and I'll be able to grow carrots in there. I'll have a video on how I set this up, and it's pretty straightforward. These are eight foot boards. I'm going to cut off two feet on each board. That will make the side, and I'll have a nice two by six, 12 inch high raised bed to drop in on both sides and I'll still have walking paths. This space wasn't really being maximized for anything so it will be for next year. And you can see the shelving units that I bought at Home Depot are going to go in various places in these small boxes so that I can grow beans and cucumbers up those. And as we look over here I'll have less trellising over there. Sunlight will come in this way. Hit any of the trellising stuff right here the shade will go out that way. Going to keep this and you can see I have dried beans up there, dried beans over there. I'll be collecting those seeds and making soups out of them. Wanted to show you what I've been waiting for since the beginning of uh, this year. That's the general look of the cattle panel. It's going to go in something like that and I will be growing Maybe cherry tomato through that, maybe the cucumbers, the beans will be in a different place. But I'm really excited that I'll finally have the tunnel I can walk through. 
you know, figure out how to secure it. In theory, you can see that the spacing here probably should have been maybe another foot wide, but I was kind of designing this on the fly without the cattle panel, but this will be fine for this space and it'll be strong enough that it'll sway a little bit, but I'll be able to grow whatever I want up here and I'll just be able to walk through and pick off what I'm growing. And I may do a theme garden in here that I could start on one side, walk through here, pick what I need, be able to take it into the kitchen. You can just see all the space. So now is really a great time to start thinking about construction project, projects you want. For instance, these raised beds could be put in in spring, but if I set them up now, I put in different amendments, they'll break down over the next four or five months and be ready for planting. I'm probably going to have to design something to cover the blueberries from birds coming in, but the plants are really healthy. These have established nicely. They're even starting to flower now because the temperatures have been crazy. But my whole hope is that the blueberries get established and next year I get some nice crops. So this is what the garden looks like as of the 9th of November. It's a perfect time to put your beds to rest, clear out areas, get them set up now so that come spring you can just plant and kind of think about the different construction you might want to do. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com. Thanks for watching.